Dang is right past Volpe. Hello everyone, it's your boy Volpe, and welcome to the Pleb Elite News, the number one channel for all things Pleb. Today we'll be talking about all the things that happened last week, so grab your popcorn, your family, and your R4C, get ready to ash rush right into the news. So first, I'm going to tell you guys why I am posting here today on Tuesday. Well, um, we, this is a plethora of reasons. One, I just wanted to take a quick break on Monday. I had a very hectic uh, week last week, a lot of stuff going on. In fact, I even missed my uh, game, um, my league game, because of stuff I was doing. Um, we have a lot going on in the IRL, so... Um, your boy's fine. I'm not nothing like too serious. It's actually a pretty exciting time, but you know we're still busy. A lot of adult things to do. A lot of cleaning. A lot of showing around, going around, leaving the house. It's a bunch of stuffs going on. Um, so I was not able to post on Monday. I'm sorry about that. Just want to take a little relaxed day. Watched some Narnia with my mom, and it was an excellent time. We both had fun watching the movie and making fun of things that we really didn't catch when we first saw it back in like what 2007 or whatever. I forgot when it came out. Anyway. On to the first thing of news. There's not also actually there's another reason. My bad, my bad, my bad. There's another reason is because uh, Pew is on vacation, living it up. I think so. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's on vacation. I, I, don't, I don't know. I forgot. Point is though, uh, none of the stats are there. So um, we're there yesterday, and they're not here today either. Not not um, not like the ones like oh most headshots and all that stuff. Um, the rest of them are there, um, but the most headshots and all that type of stuff. That stuff is not there. So. You know, <laughs> I I couldn't post even if I wanted to, but I I did make my own stats today. Not it had nothing to do with uh, uh personal stats. It's more of team stats because the playoff push is here. We're on the last week of uh, club league, um, before the playoffs, and so I went ahead and made a bunch of stats, um, for the onion and potato division. I'm sorry, Rita Baker. I'm not gonna show you guys any love because I already spent a lot of the day just doing potato and onion. So I'm got you guys got to take the L here. Um, so sorry boys. So the first stats, the onion power rankings. I only have power rankings for the onion division because um, I was thinking about doing all of Pleb League, but I decided that wouldn't be fair. So onion power rankings, here we go. Number one, we have Team Sin. They have 18 points. Their first, pl uh, no, actually I think they're third place. Um, Project Trojan is second in onion power rankings and in the actual standings, Blood Wolves third. Then Arson, Corrupt, NVG, who's just dropped out, AA, and then Wash Diamonds are last. Um, and so yeah, I act, um, this this isn't randomly. This isn't like my um, what's it called? Sorry for the mic. Um, but this isn't just like oh, this is the teams I think are the best. This is actually something I calculated with an app on the power rankings. Um, and so those that's what happened. So if you're not happy with your power ranking score and you think your team should be higher, well then play better. Um, that's all I could really say. So moving on to the potato playoff race. As you guys can see, everything here on the screen is all the information you need. Um, so this is these are the legitimate standings right now. Um, so and the eliminated team is nocturnal. You guys can see they are unable to make the playoffs. And I will be having a playoff recipe here in a second on how Centurion Vandals, Vinami, and Team Fated can make the playoffs, and how Agent can stay in the playoffs and their chances of doing so. Did all the calculations by myself. It was a complete waste of time. No one's really going to care about this segment, but it does not matter because I have. I'm, I'm weird. My anyway, point is though, so the recipe for Vandals is they, they've they already beaten AG&T, so they used to win both games and then the AG&T to lose one of their two games. Vietnami, they must win against AG&T, they do go against them, and they only have one game this week for some reason. So Vandals and Faded need to lose one game, and they must win by as many rounds as possible. And Team Faded, they must win both games. Both of the games are extremely hard, and the Vandals must lose one game. And they must win, again, by as many rounds as possible. So all these teams have a very, very strict thing. So here are all the playoff chances I calculated it myself. Centurion Vandals have a 17% chance. Vietnami has a 7 And Team Faded has a less than 1% chance to make the playoffs. But this does not mean it's impossible. They still have that .528 chance that they can make the playoffs. And I believe in Team Faded Black. You guys can do it. I'm rooting for you guys. And there's AJ and T's clan. Uh, clan. This is their... Their playoff chances to stay in is 77%. They just need to win one game or draw both. It's not that big of a deal. Win one of your games. And uh, one of your games are against the uh, eliminated team Nocturnal, which is the worst team right now in Potato. So, of course, they have a pretty high chance of making the playoffs. Um, so, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the playoff race over there in Potato. And those are the uh, two stats that I, were, I was doing, I was working on. It's just... Um, potato and onion so that's pretty much all i have it uh, for you guys today i don't really think i have anything else planned um not much other news except nvg dropped 
Uh, you guys did hear me say it for a split second. MVG did drop. Um, so I thought that was a pretty big rip in the chat. And I think another team has dropped too. Let me go ahead and look at my notes here. Pretty sure another team dropped. Uh, other team dropped. I think Blackjacks also dropped from Rutabaga. Um, but they, yeah, they dropped. But I think they could have dropped like week four or something. I don't know. Point is that Blackjacks and Breaking Diamonds, they have also dropped. If I have already said this, I'm sorry, but I don't remember saying it. So they're gone as well. So that's uh, t big rips in the chat, Fs in the chat, everyone. And it, it's actually a big surprise that MVG left. Um, I I don't know the full story. All I know is that they uh, they had some game against PT in a different league, and then they just completely dropped out of all the leagues for some reason. Um, so I thought that was kind of weird. Their team was really good, and as you guys saw in the little uh, the little power rankings, they weren't too far down. They were not too far down. They had 16 points to their name, so I think they're like in third place if they would have stayed. Um, it's just it's just so weird. So I might have to try to find. Uh, the real reason why they left, um, because it is a bit confusing, um, as you see, because, yeah, they were 6th place in the power rankings, and they were 4th place overall. So, yeah, it is very weird. I don't know why MBG dropped, um, so I would try to uh, figure out why. I'll try to um, talk to them and see what's up and uh, see if everything is okay. And by next week for the playoffs, uh, actually it will be the week 6 talk, not playoff talk, but still, everything will be... Six gone and set for the playoffs um i should have the answer and if not i'm sorry in advance anyway thank you guys so much for watching like comment subscribe all that jazz or dislike if you didn't like the video and uh i'll see you guys later peace out